Per qualcuno una linea è solo l'unione di una serie di punti, capace di collegare due estremi. Ma a noi, fedeli alla nostra visione, questa definizione non basta. Una linea è un progetto, un'idea, un percorso. Una linea è una traccia da seguire, ma anche una nuova via da percorrere e da tramandare per chi verrà. Una linea capace di abbracciare, di entusiasmare, persino di far sognare. Per noi, popolo di viaggiatori, una linea non definisce un confine, ma piuttosto la misura di quanto avanti ancora possiamo spingerci. La nostra linea ha il colore della passione e del cuore e disegna le forme di ciò che crea emozione. Un cordiale buonasera da Reggio Emilia. Non mi trovo al teatro Romolo Valli, bensì a poche centinaia di metri in un luogo nel quale è stata scritta una pagina importante della storia d'Italia. Sono infatti all'interno della Sala del Tricolore nel municipio di Reggio Emilia. Ed è qui, proprio in questa stanza, che il 7 gennaio 1797 nacque la bandiera verde, bianco e rossa, e fu assunta l'Italia Unita, quale avesse il nazionale nell'Ottocento. E proprio qui, più anche a me, potete vedere il primo stendardo tricolore mai realizzato. E ci è sembrato fondamentale dare il là a questo luogo così significativo al lancio della nostra nuova monoposto nata a Maranello. Passo dunque la linea al Teatro Romolo Valli, signori e signori, lo Teatro.
e signori, Ladies and buonasera. gentlemen, e good benvenuti. evening and welcome. It is a real pleasure and honor for me to be with you on stage to unveil the new Scuderia Ferrari racing car. But before anything else, let me introduce my co-host, Silvia Frangipane Hoffer. Buonasera Mark. Good evening Mark. Good evening everybody. It is a great emotion for me to share the stage with you in this uh, beautiful venue. We're broadcasting live on TV on, on uh, the um, giant screens of the squares connected to us and live streaming globally. Um, but before we do so, I guess my colleague doesn't need any introduction, but just in case, ladies and gentlemen, Marc Genet. Grazie Silvia. So it's a huge honor for me to be sharing this stage with you tonight. As I said, a warm welcome, of course, also goes to everyone who's watching us from home, on live streaming, on television. Un evento veramente speciale e una really special event and a very special venue. This uh, Romolo Valley Theater in Reggio Emilia was opened officially in 1857, and it is a valuable piece of neoclassic architecture and an excellent one. And talking about history, if you allow me, Silvia, let me add that it was here in Reggio Emilia where the Italian national flag was conceived, the tricolor flag. At Ferrari, we chose this place to pay homage to the Italian origins of Ferrari. ...to proceed with our presentation. However, before we do so, let me welcome our chairman, John Elkan. And our vice president, Piero Ferrari. Buonasera. And now, let me invite on stage our Chief Executive Officer, Louis Camilleri. Good evening, Hughes. Good evening. All yours. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, Mark. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this amazing place. Um, I want to welcome a number of special guests. We'll start with the authorities and officials who are here with us tonight. And I want to especially thank those from this magnificent town who made this event possible in this theater. I also need to thank our partners who share our values. We're all here. And honestly, we wouldn't be able to do what we do uh, without their help and support. Uh, present with us also are the members of the media who are up in the nosebleed nose section. And they, as you all know, watch our every move and report upon them and hopefully a lot of our smiles. But what gives me great joy is to tell you that, first of all, the senior management team of Ferrari is here in the front rows, but also, very importantly, there are some 350 women and men who work in the racing department. And they're all here. They work tirelessly to develop and create a car that will meet our ambitions. Forty of those have worked loyally uh, for the team for more than 35 years each. If my calculation's right, that's 1,400 years. So most of you do not know them. They are our unsung heroes. And a lot of them are shy, but I want them all to stand up and to receive the warm applause that they all deserve. 
So stand up. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I told you they were shy. Half of them stood up. So we're all here collectively because we all share a passion with millions of other people for the prancing horse. And we're all attracted by the exhilarating emotions that only Ferrari can generate or trigger. And in many ways, it has this magical appeal which is as powerful as it is difficult to describe. We all at Ferrari, and the team in particular, are very conscious of the huge responsibilities that lie on our shoulders. And we clearly are very focused on the ultimate goal, which is victory. And I believe that we have the talent and the determination to meet those ambitions, our ambitions as well as yours. With responsibility comes a lot of pressure. And we view that pressure in a positive manner because it has the effect of uniting us and also inspiring us to do ever better. And I can assure you that we are more demanding on ourselves than anybody else could ever be. As we look to this year, uh, clearly it's going to be an interesting year. We have tough competition, a long season, but it's also an important year because as most of you know, in parallel we have to create and develop a completely new car in line with the new regulations that will govern the Formula One in 2021 and beyond. So the team is going to be very, very busy. I believe, as I said, I have every confidence that we have the women and men their creativity, their discipline, their determination, and above all, as I've said before, the work ethic they have, which is the hallmark of this company, and one which has been instilled upon us by our founder, Enzo Ferrari. I think Mattia and his team are doing a great job, and we look forward to successes going forward. But we're not just looking at this season or the next race. Time, in fact, is our enemy. Think about it. We spend days, nights, weeks, months to gain tenths of a second or a hundredths of a second. Um, and therefore, we are very much focused on the long term, and that is exactly what Mattia is doing. I have a great respect uh, for his leadership skills and the way he is instilling a team spirit and a culture that will make us ever stronger and ever more successful. And of course, we have Sebastian and Charles, who we count on. It will be their second season together. And other than their incredible talent, we know that they share a passion and pride for Ferrari and are loyal to Ferrari. It leads me to thank everybody who was involved in organizing this event. There are a lot of them, so thank you. And I wish you all a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. So nice.
Ay, por supuesto, ¿eh? Grazie, grazie. Una, per performance, una performance che rappresenta il meglio i valori della Ferrari, l'innovazione, i valori di squadra, storia, forza, prestazione e soprattutto emozioni. Erano infatti i bravissimi performance del gruppo della compagnia Liberi D. Liberi D is the company that our performers belong to. I'd like to thank um, those that are playing instruments for us, thanks to the youth orchestra of the Reggio Emilia Conservatory. E vorrei quindi. I'd like to highlight that most of the music we will be listening to this evening was um, put together on purpose by mixing classical music and modern music. It was our DJ, Benny Benassi, that made all this possible. And Maestro Leonardo de Amici's special music for us. Fatta appunto appositamente per noi. Direi che music specially put together for us. And now the time has come to call on stage the leader of this united team, the team, team principal of Scuderia Ferrari, Mattia Benotto. Ciao. Hello. Good evening, Mattia. Good evening, everybody. Mattia, it's an important moment. What does this uh, car launch mean to you? Well, presenting a new car is always uh, an emotion. And talking about emotions, I'd like to mention a sentence uh, used that our founder, Enzo Ferrari, used to say. Ask a child to draw a car. Certainly, he will draw it red. This emotion is the one we feel in Maranello every time we think of a new car, every time we design it, we conceive it, we develop it, we take it to the wind tunnel, to the test benches. It's the same emotion that we feel when we produce it and assemble it. And after one year of designing and developing the car, we will unveil it tonight to all the world. And this year, we will have two very important events to celebrate uh, the 70 years of Formula One and then uh, the 1,000th Grand Prix for Scuderia Ferrari. It's a very special year, actually, 70 years of Formula One and the 1,000th Grand Prix for Ferrari. Ferrari has always been there since the beginning of Formula One. We never it missed one year. It, we are the team winning the most, the one that has always been there and actually 
reaching 1,000 GPs is a very special thing, somehow amazing, incredible. We are certainly proud of this. Competition is part of our DNA. Ferrari has always been there. It will always be part of Formula One, um, also looking at the future starting from 2021 onwards. A single seater is like the tip of an iceberg. There's um, a small visible part which hides an enormous work behind all this. Yes, this is the 66th single-seater built in Scuderia Ferrari. It's the result of great work, sacrifice, commitment, sometimes difficulties, challenges, efforts, and passion. These are all the values of our hashtag, Esro Ferrari, being Ferrari. It's a special ear for our team, as our CEO said, we will have to develop, start developing also the car for 2021. Our um, group is still young, we still have to grow, we have to learn from our mistakes, we have to capitalize on this, we have to concentrate on reliability, which was one of the weak points last season. And then we have at the same time the 2021 project that started out very powerfully. It's an epoch-making challenge, it's the greatest change that has ever occurred in Formula One since the beginning. We will have to be ready for this. We'll be speaking with you very soon, but now time has come, time we've all been waiting for. So here comes, ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 Formula One contender uh, from Scuderia Ferrari.
Wow! Che bella! Che emozioni! What a great È emotion! Beautiful! It's always very special! It's unique to launch a Formula One car, but doing so in such a unique venue as a theatre gives me shivers. It's a great emotion. Yes, it's fantastic. But at this point, let's call on stage the two protagonists of the coming Ferrari season. Together with Mattia, let's welcome up here the two drivers, Sebastian Vettel and Charles Leclerc. Good evening. The kissing later, otherwise you're going to spoil all my makeup. <laughs> now, guys, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, we'll be asking you to wait just a couple of seconds because we turn to Mattia now. Quindi, Mattia, um, it's amazing. We've seen it. Now, we need you to tell us a little bit more about what goes on in the SF-1000 under the skin. Si. Um, let's start from the name as first, SF-1000. Obviously, we just mentioned before, 1000 Grand Prix for Scuderia Ferrari. It's a great achievement, so it was, I think, we, we believe it was right to celebrate the season with that name. What can we tell us, or what can I tell you to the, about the car itself? Certainly, the regulation has remained stable. So uh, difficult, really, to, to transform completely the car. The car, the starting point of that car is the one of last year, is the SF90. But certainly we have been all extreme on all the concepts as much as we could. Uh, we developed the car, tried to, to look for the maximum aero performance as first, trying to maximize, maximize the downforce level. So the entire car, the monocoque, the power unit layout, the gearbox has been really packaged in a way to have a very narrow and slim body shape. I think that it's quite visible on it. Uh, we worked on all the, the components, the suspension. The suspension has been designed to have greater flexibility when being on the race track for the setup. Having obviously uh, trying to adapt the setup to whatever best suit to, to, to drivers, whatever is the circuit. Uh, we put a lot of effort to keep the weight down. Uh, we worked a lot on the power unit, not only for packaging, but we work on each single component, tried obviously to, as first to improve the performance, but to cope as well with a change in technical, directions, uh, the technical regulations where the oil consumption will be reduced by 50%. So obviously it may look very similar to last year, but believe me, it's very completely different to the one of last year and uh, a lot of concepts are very extreme on that car. Thank you, Mattia. And now to you, uh, Sebastian. How do you like your new car and how do you like presenting the car in such a special place? Thank you. Well, good evening. I think, uh, as Mattia touched on, I think uh, it's uh, an incredible achievement. Obviously, a lot of uh, hours that go into the car. I like it a lot. I think uh, we had the opportunity to obviously see it a little bit before and to have also a direct comparison with last year's car and you can really spot the differences especially when it comes to packaging and the back part of the car everything sits a lot tighter so uh, there's a lot of uh, work behind that because it's not so easy so we found some clever solutions uh, to be able to achieve that i can't wait to drive it because it obviously that's more exciting than looking at it so uh, one more week to to wait but uh, i think it's it's fantastic it's also a little bit more red than last year so uh, i think it looks great Thank you, Sebastian. Adesso. Adesso in italiano. Uh, we'll switch to Marello Italian. Da... Well, stagione. you've been eh, in Marello for some seasons. Uh, you also speak Italian very, very well. well. Even if you don't know, eh, he speaks Italian very well. I'd like to ask you whether you have somehow become a bit of Italian now. Maybe people don't know. Well, I feel Italian a little bit. I have a lot of Italian food inside myself. I like people, I like culture, food in Italy, but above all, I have a great passion for Ferrari, for the red cars, and I believe that uh, Ferrari 
has written uh, a major part of the Italian history, at least uh, this is what I believe. So we can say, Sebastian, that your favorite dish is no longer schnitzel, but tortellini. Well, tortellini, yes, but I also like uh, eating schnitzel. Pasta wins over everything else. So, Sebastian, there's a long new season ahead of all of us. If you look around the corner, if you look in a crystal ball, um, what do you see? Well, it's uh, impossible to predict, but I see, first of all, that, uh, as I think we, we touched on, uh, there's a lot of hours that went into the car, a lot of effort. I think it is a step forward. I hope uh, it will feel like that when I drive the car, but uh, I can, you know, I can be sure of uh, plenty of commitment from all the people that are here, part of the team, all the people uh, and all the, the part of the team that's in Maranello working right now as well to, uh, yeah, to uh, improve the car even further. So I think that's something we, we can rely on, we trust on. Um, that's definitely something that I see if I had a crystal ball. Um, but for the rest, I think uh, that's also the, the part of the adventure is uh, we, we have to be patient and have to wait. Thank you, uh, Sepp. Charles, uh, now to you. Good evening, first of all. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> it's your second season with uh, Ferrari. However, you know Ferrari very well because you, you've been part of the Ferrari Driver Academy for, uh, for many years. We have also our Ferrari Driver Academy drivers here, and I want to congratulate them and con congratulate the Academy for great achievements last season. So, well done, guys. And, uh, but how different it feels 12 months after, because you were here 12 months, not here, but in Maranello 12 months ago, you were not yet, uh, haven't driven the car, now you have one season behind you, how, how different do you feel this year? The approach is a little bit different, uh, just because now I know the team, I know more or less the car, obviously this year it's a new car, but it's still a, an improvement of last year's car, so we've been working all together to make it better. And, uh, and to be uh, more ready for, for this year. Um, I, know, I know the people, um, so yeah, it's, um, it's, a, it's a good season. Uh, it's, a, it's a big challenge and I can't wait to drive the car. Benissimo, parliamo l'italiano, visto che Charles come sta switch to Italian again. Charles speaks a very good Italian. Behind you is a season which was certainly challenging and tough uh, for you. So let's move on this side so that they can hear, they can see us better also from home. Charles, um, how are you preparing yourself mentally and psychologically for such a tough season? Well, I'm prepared physically in the mountains to be fit and, you know, psychologically my approach is very similar to the past seasons. I try and uh, give my best. Uh, we worked uh, hard with the team in order to develop the best possible car. And, uh, you know, I've tried to learn from the past mistakes. Uh, I want to be a better pilot this year. I won't ask you about tortellini because I know you've always eaten them. I like them very much, but I have to lose some weight now, so I'll forget about tortellini for the time being. Very good. <laughs> 